Hi folks, Ryan Scott here representing Cruiser RV out here in beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah at Paris RV. You know, Paris RV is one of our top sellers out here in Salt Lake City and we're here to tell you a little bit about our Striker 2613. Right now it's our top seller and there's a ton of stuff to talk about here guys and I'm super excited to tell you about it. Uh, first and foremost, we want to tell you a little bit about a story. Uh, everybody loves a good love story, so I, I like to really remind people of who we are. Cruiser RV was introduced in 1988. We're a 31-year-old company, and we're so proud to be in this industry for that long. And in the same breath, we're the same company that started uh, Sunnybrook, which is now Winnebago. We started uh, the, one, uh, the six point level up system. So there's a lot of credibility in the industry that we've been in for so long. And Stryker is one of those really Huckleberry floor plans uh, that we came out with in 2313. So nice little love story to talk about. Secondly, uh, we really like to hone in on how we build this trailer. You know, the reality is a lot of manufacturers don't build it like we do. This is a toy hauler. It's meant to go out there and just really enjoy mother nature and beat it up. So you can do that with our I-beam chassis. We use 8, 10, and 12 inch I-beam chassis depending on the length of the coach. But the cool thing about that is you're not compromising your foundation. So the neat thing is we're, uh, you can put more stuff in our coaches and we're lighter than anybody else. So it's really nice to be able to talk about how we build it and how we do that is pretty simple. Not compromising the chassis, we're using a ton of aluminum and we're using a lot of plywood. Uh, where the other guy uses OSB, we use plywood. Plywood's going to be stronger and lighter. The reason why manufacturers don't use it is because it's very expensive. If you use a consumer doesn't see it. So it's really nice to be able to remind our buyer of, hey, how it's built. Because, yeah, you don't see it, but it's equally important to be able to talk about just as, as, as much as the features and benefits that come together to build it. So, uh, again, plywood, aluminum frame, we do 10 inches on center where the other guy does 12. Um, everything above the floor is all aluminum. So your slide-out boxes are aluminum, your front, your rear and your roof are all aluminum frame. And the cool thing about that is you're not top heavy, it's gonna promote towability, and you can put more stuff in our coaches. Typically on a typical striker, you can put up to about four to 5,000 pounds of payload. So again, how we build it is really unique. 31-year-old uh, company, how we build it is really unique. The third feature is really the parts to come together that to make it. Think about how many parts come together to make this trailer. Um, thousands, uh, you know, from the screw, the tire, the wheel, the axle, and it's so important to tell you guys on how we pick our parts, uh, how we team up with our suppliers, because we're only as good as the parts that we use. So, for example, you're going to see bigger propane bottles. That's something that, as a dry camper, you're definitely going to appreciate and want. Uh, we do a 16-inch wheel and tire on everything that we build, not a 15 like most do. So you get bigger and better. If you think about Striker being on steroids, that's exactly what we wanted to accomplish when we first came out with this brand. Um, so bigger tires, bigger wheels. We have off-road shocks on this 2313. There's not a lot of manufacturers doing that. So we're really excited to separate ourselves from the other guys as far as how we build it. Not only that, the parts to come together that make it. So you're going to get a valuable part. You're going to get a quality part, but you're also going to get a better warranty. For example, not only with that 16-inch wheel and tire, not only with the off-road shocks, you're going to notice that we use Dexter axles. Dexter has been in the business since 1960 that's used by the military. So it really is an in-depth viewpoint of how we build it, but all of that, of how the, all the parts to come together that make it. So as we come over here, you're gonna also notice um, not only the off-road shocks, but we, because we went to that bigger tire and wheel, it allowed us to go to a bigger, higher platform. And that's advantageous because you're gonna take this off-roading. You don't wanna have your plumbing or your stab jacks hanging real low to the ground. So this coach is the highest up we can get. So you can definitely t tailor to Mother Nature and really go out there and beat it up. Um, not only that, when we went to that higher platform, you're going to notice no wheel wells on the inside. And that's something that's really important, guys, because again, we're tailoring to people that have side-by-sides, toy uh, toys, razors, uh, dirt bikes, quads, and the last thing you want to do is overcome this cumbersome wheel well that's on the inside of the trailer. So again, it was this domino effect of positivity. Not only that, if you come around this way, it allowed us to go to the one of the longest lengths in ramp doors possible. So it's an eight foot ramp door. A lot of manufacturers go to a six or seven. And the problem is when you go to that short ramp door, you're not getting a good transition when you're loading your toys. So again, there's a lot of little things about what we meticulously thought of and we wanted to know exactly what we wanted to do when we came out with the market in Stryker. So bigger tires, bigger wheels, off-road shocks, and it's the little things that matter. So talking about the parts, LED tail lights, for example, not a lot of manufacturers are doing that. This also is pre-wired for a backup camera. It's pre-wired for solar. So you can definitely add to that as well as down the road. 
um, depending on what you want to get out of your out of your toy, um, out of your toy hauling. As you come this way, um, you're going to notice uh, an outside ladder that's attached to the trailer. I think it's really important to talk about that. You're not leaving it at home. It is equipped for 250 pounds. Once you go up there, you're going to see again a part that we use and we're very proud of. It's called TPO. TPO is a a, a uh, one-piece membrane that basically is going to be protected from Mother Nature. Um, it's on every commercial grade Costco and Walmart in America. It's really heavy duty stuff. It gives our customer a 12 year warranty. You still want to be able to go up there and check the seals on top uh, once if not twice a year. But again, that material itself, we're spending more money versus rubber. Rubber is going to chalk over time and turn black. TPO will not do that. Um, another thing, again, it's the small things that matter when you're camping. These are vents. When you're going down the road, you tend to have a little gas fumes inside the coach. These are metal, they're not plastic. Most manufacturers are going to give you this plastic uh, vent that's going to probably have to be replaced in about a year or two. So again, we're using money where it counts not only in how we build it, but also the, the features and benefits that come together that make it. It's black, it's not white, it's not going to fade over time. Every striker that we build is again, there's a lot of standardization here versus everybody else that gives you options. Where this guy gives you an option, we give it to you standard. So. What I mean by that is, is you get a 30 gallon fuel station standard, you get the bigger propane bottle standard, 16 inch wheels and tires standard. So you get everything we wanted to drive this market with what our customer demands, feels and wants. So 30 gallon fuel station, it also trickles into the generator um, and you can pull out of that and fill your own toys, which is really, really cool when you're out there in that campground. Um, couple things here on the outside, I think it's really neat to be able to talk about one thing um, as far as convenience goes because everything is in one nice general area on the outside. You know exactly where to go to fill up your potable water. By the way, it has 108 gallons of fresh water, which is incredible. You're definitely going to need that capacity when those longer trips are happening. Um, you also have city water connection. You have a black tank flush so you can clean all that, all that black tank out of there uh, when it comes time for that fun job. Um, but also, um, you know, you got a bigger furnace than most. You know, every single part is going to be bigger and badder than the other guy, and that's what we wanted to do. Not only spend money behind the scenes on building it, but also uh, things like the furnace, things like the water heater. The water heater is a 10-gallon water heater. Most manufacturers in this price point are going to give you a six. So again, it's the little things that add up to the big value in the end. So 31-year-old company, how we build it is really unique. Spending money on plywood and aluminum. You know, the reality is manufacturers are using OSB. OSB is just a bunch of wood particles glued together and it's cheaper for them to use. We're using plywood floors. Uh, we're using plywood everywhere we can. So you're going to get lighter and stronger, but you're also going to get aluminum frame with that combination. So you're going to get light, lightest weight coach as possible. Reality is manufacturers use wood in their, in their roof. Uh, we use aluminum. So how we build it is really unique. The parts to come together to make it much like the water heater, the water pump by SureFlow. So we're using name brand parts that you can trust. Um, you know, whether it comes to the AC, whether it comes to the tires, the, the painted front cap, we're spending money behind the scenes and also what you can see, touch and feel. Um, as we come over this way, uh, you're going to notice we always try to use the biggest windows possible. They are UV protected, they are tinted, so you're going to appreciate Mother Nature, uh, all while not having that sun attack the inside of your coach, along with that 15K BC, BTU AC. Most manufacturers give you a 13.5. So again, having that overkill mentality is what our customers see, touch, and feel. And that's what they want. They want to demand more, and that's what you get with a striker. A couple things on the outside here. Um, we do have the ability to add a 4.0 or a 5.5 Onan generator. Onan is the best money it can buy when it comes to generators. And they've got a great reputation teaming up with Cummings in the most recent couple years. Cool thing about what we do here, and again, it's the little things that add up to the big value. Most manufacturers, you know, typically your generator is underneath your bed. Um, what's really neat about what we do is this flex foil material. Again, it's, it's, a, it's a real thin material, but it, it costs a lot of money. Most manufacturers are not going to do this. They just basically give you a tin box and throw a generator in it. Not us. We, get, we take it a step further. You're going you're gonna to have a lot of noise deadening with this, with this material. It's called flex foil. A lot of people use astro foil. Kind of the same material, but again, it's there. It's a sound deadener. It's going to keep that uh, generator nice and cool, and it's going to run properly. And of course, it is bent vented with this baggage door. But what's really neat is we also take this same stuff, and we wrap all your, your, your tanks down below. So you're fresh, you're black, and you're gray. And again, if you're outside enjoying Mother Nature, you guys know the most vulnerable spot for cold air to come into is from below. So what we do essentially is what we're building into the product we've learned over 31 years is a lot of people like this stuff. It's basically, uh, we want to enjoy Mother Nature, but we don't want to have her attack our tanks, and that's the most vulnerable spot. So 
What Cruiser RV does, we built into the product, you got two layers of insulation from down below. Most just give you one, we give you two. Um, what's really neat about that is we also have our engineers designed to have heat ducts go directly inside that I-beam. So again, if you're on a cold morning, cold night, of course you have your fresh water tank full, maybe you're gray even as well, that's vulnerable to freezing. So a lot less likelihood to have that happen because of the way we design it and build it. So it's really neat to be able to tell you that kind of stuff. And again, it's the little things that add to the big value. Not only how we build it, but also features like this that you're really going to appreciate. Uh, little things like if you go underneath the, the, the underbelly, we're going to give you a secondary uh, additional way to be able to hold in those fresh water tanks because that, that's a lot of water. Water weighs a lot. Uh, so uh, again, little things that go that extra mile. We give you three additional uh, rails that go long ways to the trailer. And basically it's just another uh, way to be able to secure that fresh water tank, especially when you have it fully loaded. Water weighs about 8.3 pounds per gallon and we wanna let you know you have peace of mind and it's not gonna fall out when you're going down the road. And again, not a lot of manufacturers are doing the little stuff that really adds up to the big value in the end. Painted front cap, for example, you're going to really notice this down the highway. Nice big graphics package, by the way, it gives you a two-year warranty on all your graphics. And again, most just give you a one, so we're giving you a better, better quality part, but also you get a better warranty by us using that better quality part. Uh, painted front cap, just like a motorhome, so it's going to be longer lasting. Again, bigger propane bottles you're going to appreciate going down the road, and being longer lasting, you don't have to swap them out every now and then. Um, power tongue jack, of course, is really advantageous. Uh, as we come over this way, you're going to notice LED lights all the way throughout the entire coach. What's really nice about this is it just lights up the outside. Um, of course, you're going to be hooking up at night. We do have two floodlights on each side, as well as two on the rear. So not only with that LED light, you're going to get lighter, brighter, and longer lasting, but you also get them everywhere inside the coach, which is really, really cool. Okay, one thing that we, we really try to do a good job of and, and really you can't talk enough about is, is the comfort factor, right? The convenience factor. We talked about storage and how important that is. And it's just the little things. So this is our sink, sink cover, right? It goes in the inside of the trailer. If you come with me on, on the inside, we've got a lot of features to talk about there. And a lot of manufacturers you a 26 or 28 inch entry door. We give you a 30. So it's really nice to have this as, a, as an eating tray, um, if you have drinks on it. And look how easy this is for me to go up in and out of this 30 inch entry door. So it's really nice to be able to show that. And again, it's the si simple, small things, just like this entry assist handle. And again, you're not going to see that with other manufacturers. They're going to give you a little handle. They're going to give you a 26 or a 28 inch door. So it's really, really advantageous, especially when you're, you know, wanting to have that family over. You got a big family. You got friends over. You want to be able to have them with ease, be able to come in and in and outside of the trailer. Okay, guys. Now that we're inside this Striker 2313, I think there's a lot of features and benefits to point out. I like to start from the ground up, uh, much like we did on the uh, on the outside. One thing that we do a really good job of is, is really teaming up with the best parts we can get our hands on like we talked about. One example of that is our 5,000 pound tie downs. And again, most manufacturers are gonna give you something smaller, usually a 2,500 pound tie down that's screwed into the floor that typically will pull out of the floor if you have something like a razor inside that's super heavy. So really a nice peace of mind factor that that 5,000 pound tie down is most likely not gonna pull out of the ground and it's actually bolted from the bottom. So again, features like that are gonna be really, really exclusive to Stryker. Um, a couple things that you wanna be able to uh, face your mind over here. This electric bunk system is really, really neat. It's by Happy Jack. They've almost monopolized the industry. But what's really cool about this, this coach is only 27 feet, 20, a little under 28 feet long. But look at the capacity that you have here. You can bring these up and down. Happy Jack is probably one of the best systems out there that money can buy. This is convert into a dinette with this all the way up. Um, this can convert into a bed. And what we also designed, and again, not, only, not every Happy Jack system is the same. So when this goes all the way up, these bottom ones are designed to go on the side. So what's happening out there now is a lot of uh, customers out there we're seeing with side-by-sides they're putting aftermarket tires on them, they're putting aftermarket roll cages on them. So we're really trying to keep up with that trend and really have no restrictions when you're when you're you know your your aftermarket parts are put on your razor or your or your can am. So really nice to be able to kind of keep up with the market there as well um, because it does go hand in hand. A couple of things to point out. You know, a lot of manufacturers out there, they try to cut corners. And what I mean by that is not bashing them, it's factual. You know, you can't 
You can't do that to a cabinet typically is what I mean. Um, and this is just one example of putting money where it counts, not only behind the scenes, but also something that you can see, touch and feel and you're gonna be using every day. You know, so what's really cool about this, this is a solid oak cabinet. Um, it's gonna be longer lasting, of course, but these hidden hinges allow this cabinet to close automatically about two or three inches away. So we're spending money on something that you can see, touch and feel and have a usable component. And think about this, you know, there's a lot of manufacturers out there that don't give you know, this size of a cabinet door. So you can actually put an, an oversized helmet inside this. You know, a lot of manufacturers don't give you the ability to have that. And then all of a sudden you're taking up interior space and you don't know where to put things. So we really try to do a good job of engineering floor plans with storage in mind and things like this that you can see, touch and feel and beat up. Um, another thing, if you want to just revert this way, this sound system will rock your socks. Um, it, it's one of those things where, again, we find that our demographic, they demand more. So again, we're going to give everything we can uh, and, and throw everything at it with Stryker. And this is just one component of that. So we teamed up with Kicker. Um, everybody knows Kicker if they're into premium sound. And if you turn this on at your campground, you're definitely going to be noticed. Um, you got interior speakers, you got exterior speakers, you got this really cool subwoofer here. And again, people know Kicker. And it's not just this uh, smaller sound system that you can't be heard from. So again, it's, it's overkill mentality and that's why we're so proud of this product and that's why it's uh, one of the number one selling toy haulers here in the state of Utah. A uh, couple things here. Again, teaming up with the best parts we can get our hands on. These countertops are, are solid surface. They're by LG, life's good. And what's really neat about it is people know the difference between solid surface and that little T-molding, right? Especially when you have water here, it's not gonna mold up. Uh, it's not gonna, uh, you know, that particle board is gonna swell up on you. So what's really neat about this material, it's got a five-year warranty. So again, using the better part, you, you get a better warranty glass using that better part. And you can see this big barn sink, it's got a big stainless steel sink here, and that nice sink cover that you can also use as, a, as an eating tray if you want as well. Um, but again, you got nice big windows. Um, you've got a residential microwave here. And typically, you don't see that in a lot of toy haulers out there. So we're really trying to spend our money on where it counts. Not only can you see it, but also behind the scenes of what we talked about with how we build it. Um, you notice there's no wheel wells on the inside, what we talked about in the beginning. And that's what's really going to be advantageous when you're loading these items, uh, especially when they're getting bigger. Side by sides are getting bigger. So we're really trying to keep up with the Joneses there. Um, uh, this Freon uh, oven is really cool. I think it's uh, nice to be able to light up at night. Um, it, it, it does promote more countertop space with this glass top. And I think it's really uh, an advantage, especially if you like to cook when you're camping. Um, you know, eight cubic foot refrigerator. You know, typically you're going to see a six. And again, if you're a camper like I am, you can't, uh, you're probably going to have this thing full to the brims. And it's always better to have bigger, especially with a toy hauler. Um, and we got LED lights if you kind of go up You've got LED lights here. All these are all LED lights with this crowned roof. It really makes the coach look a lot bigger, especially in this smaller trailer. Um, you've got, I mean, think about how many fans are inside this roof line. You've got a fan above the bed there, above the, the bunks. you got a fan here. This is a 12 volt fan that you typically don't see in a toy hauler. Um, and again, it's just this more residential feel. And that's why they're converted to more crossovers than toy haulers. We're tailoring to a lot more, demo, lot bigger demographic, people that go to dog shows, uh, people that have canoes. You don't necessarily have to have toys anymore to buy a toy hauler. Um, you just have that turnkey mentality where you have the generator, you can go wherever you want and enjoy all the campgrounds here in, uh, in beautiful Utah. A um, couple things, uh, we talk, there's five fans here in the, in the entire roof line. Um, again, just like on the outside, on the inside, we have all of our monitor panel is all in one, one little area. You have a USB port, You've got uh, interior and exterior lights um, to be able to work. You've got your bedroom control here. You've got your AC, your furnace, uh, where, you've, where your thermostat is. But everything is in one nice general area, which I think it really makes it easier for our customer to utilize. Um, and everything is all marked. You've got your convenience center there, um, your exterior uh, awning, and your exterior lights on each side, like we talked about before in those floodlights. If you guys want to come over here, um, this is our bathroom and bedroom setup. And uh, again, for it being only 27 feet and having a king bed, I think that's really, really cool to talk about. A lot of, a lot of customers really demand more, especially when it comes to sleeping. You don't want to compromise. So it's a 72 by 80 real king bed. Um, and again, there's a fan there. So whether you add that uh, fantastic fan down the road, it's pre-wired there. The reality is most manufacturers don't pre-wire it at all. 
and they don't even give you a fan at all. So really nice to be able to enjoy a nice day like this with full ventilating windows. These go up and down. There's also a ventilating window on this other side for the emergency window, but really nice roomy bedroom for a little 27 uh, foot coach. You got a nice uh, roomy bathroom there. What's really nice here too, you got his and her reading lights on both sides. You also have a spot to charge your phone at night, so I think that's really cool. Um, and again, people like to use that little shelf to put their cell phone there at night, use it as an alarm clock. Um, and then it, what's really neat is before you get up in the morning, right when you get up, you can turn on the generator and have your coffee ready in the morning. It's really, really a nice setup. And again, storage. Storage is abundant. If you look at these drawers in the bedroom and they come all the way out and you got storage there too. Again, you can't talk enough storage in any RV, especially a toy hauler. All right, guys, I can't thank you enough for your valuable time and talking about this Stryker 2313. We're in beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah with Paris RV. A um, couple things to recap. You know, we talked about our longevity in the business, 31 years in the business. We're so proud of that. Uh, we're owned by Thor now, so the biggest subsidiary company that's owned uh, in the RV industry. So really cool to be able to be underneath that umbrella because you get a lot of warranty, a lot of service after the sale. And it's so important to tell you that, uh, for example, we're, we're very proud to say this striker and every one of them out there have a, a three-year structural warranty. So that means, again, it's a toy hauler. It's meant to get beat up. We want to give you peace of mind instantly and let you know, God forbid anything happens with the sidewalls, the roof, the floor, we will cover within three years. Right now, no other manufacturer can say higher. So really nice to be able to be underneath that Thor umbrella with the 31 years in business. Um, and again, just to recap, how we build it is really unique, using a lot of aluminum, using a lot of plywood. The reality is manufacturers don't want you to know that because they're using OSB and wood. It's cheaper for them to buy. The benefits are huge, what we talked about before with using plywood and aluminum, and we're spending money behind the scenes. So we want you to know that first and foremost before you go out there and buy a toy hauler yourself. Third is not only how we build it, but the parts to come together to make it. We're using the best parts we can get our hands on because we're only as good as the parts that we use. For example, Dexter axles, off-road shocks, king bed, uh, you know, 10 gallon water heater, bigger water capacities, and that's what our demographic one season needs out there. And we're really trying to keep up with mother, uh, with 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 the Joneses out there, really, and really try to try to separate ourselves from the other guys because the reality is most manufacturers don't have what we have. So it's nice to be able to remind people of who we are, where we've come from, where we're going, parts to come together to make it, how we build it, the comfort factor like we talked about with the storage, um, you know, having the generator wrapped around that, that astro foil, wrapped around all your tanks. So you're going to really enjoy Mother Nature when you're out there camping, not have to worry about those elements. And then finally is the serviceability. Uh, I think it's so cool to be able to tell you guys, God forbid there is a problem. We want to let you know that we as a manufacturer, not only with Paris RV, our partner, is we want to let you know we're here for you. Uh, God forbid something does happen, we've got a huge customer service team to be able to be there and support you. Uh, we're one of the very few Thor companies that also, also offers 24-7 roadside assistance for one year. So I think that's so neat to be able to tell you guys. Uh, we're not skimping on tires, it's a 10-ply tire, but God forbid there is something wrong with that tire. Uh, and it's a manufacturing defect, we will guarantee one year replacement of that tire as well. So if you take the time to be able to go out and do your research and give Stryker a chance and really do your research on the other manufacturers out there, I can tell you that you're not going to be disappointed. And, uh, and again, if, if there's any questions that you may have, my name is Ryan Scott. I'm the West Coast uh, Regional Sales Manager for Stryker. So very proud about this product and I encourage you to uh, come out to Paris RV and see it for yourself.